Libra. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts, focusing on a Twin Flame timeless reading for you guys this time. These are the decks that I'll be using to dive into what's going on with this energy for you and your twin. So I'll be using the Twin Flame Current Vibes deck by Sister Moon Tarot. And then I'll go ahead and clarify with a couple of my tarot decks here. For those of you not familiar, both of these decks were designed for those who would want to learn how to read tarot for yourself. So you'll see how very detail-oriented they are in the upright and reversed interpretations. If any of these decks are of interest to you, all the links will be down below in the description box. All right, guys, so let's begin, Libra, and let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on currently between you and your twin. What does that energy look like? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, we're starting off with clearing the air. I wish we could talk about everything. So what I'm gathering from that type of energy is this is probably a twin that might not be in your life at this point in time. And there is this need to be able to converse and talk things through. Something might have happened to create distance, time apart. Bottom of the deck, we have precious and rare. You are so precious to me. Now, these realizations might not have been realized until after the fact, until you guys went your separate ways, perhaps. Okay, so let's take a look and see with some tarot. What else we can find out here? It's a rare kind of love. It's a once in a lifetime kind of connection. And there is this need to clear the air as we can see. Look at this. Five of swords. Oh boy. Eight of cups. Seven of cups. Look at these cards. Judgment. Two of Swords. What is this telling us? Okay, first and foremost, we are seeing that somebody decided to walk away. Whether that is you, Libra, or the other person, or it could have been a mutual decision. We have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups, both picking up off of that type of energy where there was distance created because somebody decided to go away from the connection. Um, and again, that could have been a mutual thing, but it also could have had something to do with love rivals and competition. That competition could have been other people that were either trying to grab your attention or the other person. Um, but what I get here as well is when you guys parted ways, you missed each other, you thought about each other often, feeling lonely perhaps. We've got the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups can certainly be picking up off of the options and the choices and having many choices, actually. So this could have involved more than one additional person trying to get in on the mix, and that could have created a lot of drama here. So somebody had a lot of options in in love, in dating, in romance. But what I get here for the twin that decided to create the drama, that person wants to return and want to fix the situation, you know, and as we can see, I wish we could talk about everything. So as of right now, we clearly see that there's not a whole lot going on between you and your twin. We see the two of swords. So there's this stuck, stagnant energy. And we're clearly at an impasse. It is at a stalemate. But when it comes to your twin, or even your own interpretation, Libra, there's this desire to start again, to have a new beginning here. So let's see, is that possible? And should a new beginning present itself? How would things play out? Okay. So for this particular deck, for those of you, again, not familiar with it, it's tarot with a twist, just like a regular tarot deck but I've also included oracle messages and additional court cards in this deck. All right, so let's see. For this Libra reading, Twin Flames. Ten of Wands. So it could be your twin feeling this heaviness 
as a result of maybe this burden that they've been carrying due to past actions or decisions that they made and they're not happy with it and they want to be able to rectify things. I feel that's what this judgment card is talking about. They want to be able to return. They want to be able to fix whatever is broken between the two of you. They're also recognizing here with the Three of Pentacles that in order to fix things, they're going to have to give it their all. They they have to know and realize that the two of you have to be on board. You got to work together. And they're also focused on this energy of the magician where they still see you as their ideal person. They want to be able to manifest something beautiful with you again and maybe recognizing that they already had that in the past and they blew it. You know, so they want to be able to rekindle the romantic part of the connection. And then Six of Pentacles, equality, giving and receiving, being able to share a life with you. Those things could have been missing, especially if they were just spending their time with other people, if they had one foot out the door, you know, or if they themselves decided, you know what, the grass is greener on the other side. Let me walk in that direction and decided to abandon this amazing connection that you guys had. So those are some of the mistakes that they've made, and that's why they feel the need to clear the air. Ace of Cups. So I feel this person still loves you. And clearly they want to be able to start again. They're really hoping that things can improve, that things can get better. But I am also getting that there is the possibility that, you know, they could have either cheated or there could have been third party situations for some of you. But they're focusing on a possible reunion. The Four of Wands represents the Twin Flame connection here. They definitely are focused on that. The teamwork, the dedication towards the partnership, the actual twin flame connection. And I feel that's something that they really want to be able to manifest here. Eight of Wands. So that's interesting because going back to the Two of Swords that we saw earlier. So there's no movement with that Two of Swords. It's stuck. Stuck energy. And the Eight of Wands is a very different type of vibe where there is fast movement. There is progress. That's what it is that they're really wanting to bring forward. And so I really feel with the star's energy here that they're really wanting to focus on manifesting this wish with you. Okay, Libra. So that's what I'm getting so yeah, just give this one some time to see how it unfolds. But I do feel that there's somebody who wants to return to want who wants to be able to resurface in your life. That's what I'm getting. Let me pull one more. One more card. And then we've got the six of wands. So this, of course, is a very positive card focusing on success, on victory, and the progress that I was talking about earlier. And they now truly recognize the value that you hold in their life as their twin flame. And they they also recognize that they blew it and they want a second chance to be able to allow this to come back. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So a lot of really good energies that are coming through here to be able to pick up off of abundance. And of course, abundance comes in many forms. And that includes the love that they want to be able to bring back with you. All right. So I hope that there's something in that reading that makes sense for you on your situation. If you're interested in getting your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.